there friends, we're back at beautiful SeaWorld Orlando and today we're back for Seven Seas Food Festival. We were here last year for Seven Seas Food Festival and it feels like just yesterday. I can't believe it's been a year. A lot has changed, but some things hopefully have stayed the same and one of those is hopefully a bunch of delicious food today. I'm hungry already, so let's just dive in. Every year SeaWorld has a great lineup of festivals. I look forward to most of them. Probably Electric Ocean is my favorite. I can't wait for that this summer. The Seven Seas Food Festival is up there and we're here for it today. I mean, we're here for it today. This is the first video I was ever in. I was here at SeaWorld with you at yep. the Seven Seas Food Festival. Yep, that's right. If you look at last year's Seven Seas Food Festival video, that was the first time Sam appeared yes. in one of well, my vlogs. His my voice. hands and voice, yeah. But now, full face. <laughs> He's a pretty much a vlogger almost too now. I don't know how it happened. <laughs> I'm really happy that it's a beautiful blue day, huh Sam? It is beautiful. We're gonna get all the food. All the foods. And you know how we roll. We definitely got our sampler lanyard. If you're a pass holder, you get a few extras. You get 18. There are the prices right there if you're interested. And it's actually a very, very good deal. You spend less than you would if you were buying the items individually. Plus, it's just easy to pull out your lanyard and get your sample. Starting at booth number three, and I'm getting a sunshine lager. Cause I'm walking on sunshine. And I think uh, Nate's gonna be McSwaggers, and then Vince is gonna be High Stepper. Cause he's High Stepper. This is the difference right here between the sample size and the full size. I'm definitely gonna use all my samples for food. Uh, fair enough, cheers. Stop number two, the Italian booth. We're definitely going for those Palermo Fontina cheese meatballs. There's Nate's shadow. Thank you. Thank you, yummy. That looks really good. This smells really good. You know, you can't really go wrong with just meatballs and Parmesan, a little piece of toast there, yummy. The meatball was really juicy and delicious. Like, that was, and it was a nice size too. Like, a great way to start, very delicious. We're so hungry though, so let's, let's uh, get some more punches in this. I actually got <laughs> behind the scenes. So last year when Sam was with me, that was you said your first time hanging and like watching like a vlogger do their thing. Yeah. And now you're seeing. I mean, and now I'm, you've seen us all this past year. But. I am seeing the day today. <laughs> things, things I have not seen in the last year. There's there's things that. Yeah. Nobody, nobody needs to see. I'll stick to voiceover. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that sunset over the water. I tell you, the camera doesn't even do it justice. It is a beautiful evening to be here at SeaWorld. Gorgeous evening in Orlando. It's even getting a little chilly. I'm about to put my sweater on. Got a little hibiscus wheat ale at the vegan market. We're also gonna get an Impossible Burger. Passion. We also got the, uh, what was it, Florida Brewing? Passion of Heights. Ooh. Passion of Heights, I to think. Passion of Heights. Let's Ew. raise this to new heights. Yes. I like that. Mr. High Stepper. We got the Impossible Burger, so it's like a vegan burger. Looks like it has some veggies in there. Looks good, some greens on it. Okay, I'm gonna try the Impossible Burger. I tried it before once, and I don't think I was like super fond of it. Oh, really? But I do like veggie burgers. I like the Impossible Burger. So like, burger. I don't know, let's try it again. The onions, the sauteed onions, make a big difference in there. They make it a lot more juicy. Yep, this one's good. I'll take it. Got the lamb chop here. It looks so, so, so delicious with some potatoes in there. It looks really nice. It's really soft and tender, and it was easy to cut. Mm -hmm. Smell good. The lamb chop was really, really delicious. So, so we far, go. we're three of three on yummy, delicious, juicy samplers. The potatoes were a little bit dry, but the meat itself was juicy and perfectly seasoned. It had like rosemary in it. Yummy. I had to howl, you know, at the moon, because it's full. Oh! We stopped at the North American market next, and we got a lobster roll, and I got a salt life lager. 
I'm not a huge fan of lobster rolls, but Sam is. So we'll both try it and we'll both give our reviews, but just like keeping in mind that like, I love lobster, but I don't know why I've just never like been keen on lobster rolls. So like I was telling them, Sam's a fan of lobster rolls. So we'll take his review like into account with that. Okay. Whereas I'm like, eh, I love lobster, but lobster rolls are my thing. So I think I'm gonna like fork it. Oh. Cause like I already know I don't like it that much. Do you know how to lobster roll? I don't really I'll like lobster rolls. Really good. Maybe one of the better options so far. Like really? Everything we tried has been really good. Uh -huh. But this right, one, we'll see you later. really nice. Even in the cold, it's running. Woo! Cold feet. Oh, okay. <laughs> it is a chilly night in Florida, you guys. And you get soaked on this ride. Like, Infinity Falls is... You're completely drenched. It's not just a little. But it's really, really fun. Like those people are drenched right now. We've come back for the Brazil booth because there's some delectable delights here that I need to try. I know I'm not pronouncing it correctly, but the capirina is one of my favorite drinks and they have it frozen here. And then the steak, I've heard good things. So we're getting that steak. So you oh. asked me about the frozen? Thank you. Oh, that looks so good. Thank you. Ooh. There's no straw, but um, let's, let me. Like yummy lemonade, like it tastes like frozen lemonade. Yeah, yeah. I got a spoon instead of a straw for the capirina. Someone correct my pronunciation, please, but it's so delicious. Mm. The full moon is glowing, the night is so beautiful, and the Asian market has duck and mushroom ramen bowl. I am a huge fan of ramen. Like I can't I can't not get it. I have to get it. Comes in a little uh, you know takeout container type of thing. They they filter out most of the broth, but they soak the noodles in the broth. It's not really ramen without the broth. Like ramen's all about the broth. The broth is nice, I can taste it on the noodles, but I wish they would have put this in a soup bowl and made it like a soup, like a real ramen type of a thing. It's still good, but like, I wish, I wish they included the broth. We were almost done eating and then we saw the pretzel wrapped bratwurst at Germany. We had that last year, it was so delicious and what can you do? You can't say no to a pretzel wrap bratwurst. Here it is, pretzel wrap bratwurst. Oh, it's got sauce all over it, oh yummy. They have two wheat beers actually here in Germany, the Palaner and the Tuscher, which I really, really love both of them. They're both delicious. Remember Sam, last year, you uh, thought it was really funny that I was crouching down in this exact same spot. Well, last year I hadn't been in any videos, yeah. so, you know, but now I'm actually here on basically on my knees. So. <laughs> he was just a voice in a pair of hands Whoa. last year. Now, ding. Go back, find the video of one year ago from here. Yeah. You can hear me stood here. Yeah. And then tell me what point it is so I can go back. Yeah. <laughs> this is actually a really, really fun ride. And I haven't ridden it since like Sesame Street Land first opened, so. I've never ridden it. Sam's never ridden it, so we're about to go up in Abby's flower pot. We got our pot. Let's get in our flower pot. We did it. We didn't think we could. No, definitely all four of us could not get it. We did it. Uh, we did. We got in our own quite, little, quite comfy. little flower pot. It's, it's a little snug, but it's comfy. Yeah, we're, we're good. Oh. You gotta like hug it, embrace it. Let's do a drink. Like when I. <laughs> wow, we're up high. It's cool to get these views of Sesame Street Land. It's so pretty. Oh, it does kind of do it by itself, huh? I wasn't making it up. It doesn't. If I was doing it, it would be like. No! Oh. Oh. We escaped. We got out. We fit. It's a tight fit in there, but you can make it work. And it's, and it's a lot of fun. SeaWorld's opening a brand new coaster in 2020 this year called Icebreaker. You may have heard about it if you've watched some of my videos. I've talked about it before, but we've got track going on. We've got support beams. It's looking really good. Like they're making very good progress. And I have mentioned before, and I posted pictures that Sam and I were able to sign a support beam of Icebreaker. So. This is gonna be a very meaningful coaster. Oh, we also saw the ride vehicle at IAPA this year. I showed it in a video if you wanna check it out. Here's a view of the icebreaker track under construction from the bridge. It's not lit up yet, obviously, because it's still under construction, but 
can you imagine once it's lit up? It's gonna really add to the landscape here. SeaWorld is a beautiful park during the day, but my goodness, it is sparkling and glowing at night. Between all of the beautiful coaster tracks, the rides that shoot up above the horizon, the sparkling lights in the water, it's a gorgeous park, day or night. Let's see, let's see if we can squeeze in one more ride. The park closes in 15 minutes. Let's see if we can see some penguins. Empire of the Penguin is still open, yay! We're the last ones on for the night. Oh wow, so peaceful in here. Family friendly ride and a nice way to close out the evening. Time is running out for one little penguin. Named Huck. When feathers grow in, he'll dive into the sea for the first time to begin the greatest invention of his life. You can choose mild expedition or wild expedition. We're definitely going wild. <laughs> Huck. Safe from the storm, Puff is older now. Oh, good boy. Ready to explore all the desert. Oh, what a fun boy. Yeah. Hey. Welcome everyone from on in. Dave Bowser, right to left. Thank you. Woo! <laughs> there he is, our little buddy. Oh my golly. This is a trackless ride vehicle, so we're just kind of floating around here. Having a wonderful time. Just like us, we're sliding and gliding. Woo! <laughs> Since no one's on the other ride vehicle, you can kind of see how it moves. And see how ours moves? It moves up and down, not just side to side and swirling around. We were cheering on Puck and he made it. Look at them in their snow environment. Look at that little one right there. Just snuggled. It's Puck. That's Puck right there. You come off of the ride vehicle right in to the penguin enclosure. Hi, little buddy. Oh, hi. Oh, it's chilly in here. Are you cold too? I'm cold. Oh, oh hey. Hi, little buddy. Oh, they're so cute. They're just fluffing around. Chilling penguin is chilling. Literally. That's when they're squawking too. Oh, yeah. They're running up on them. It's really cold in the penguin enclosure. We love it. <laughs> it's love worth it. it though to see them. Yeah. They're so cute, right? Yeah. I like yes, it. They're really, really cute. No, they are cold. I, I, I'm not cold. I actually really like them. Uh, oh, he's I'll fall, I'll, I will <laughs> sleep in this weather. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is the AC cold. in your house? Yeah. Oh, gosh. <laughs> they are. This is like England. Yeah. Really? <laughs> Maybe I should move to England. Hi. My fingers are frozen. That was really fun. It's always nice to see the penguins. <sighs> Journey to Atlantis is currently down for some refurbishment. I can't wait for it to open again because this is one of my favorite rides here at SeaWorld and just a favorite in general because it's a mixture of a dark ride and a little bit of a thrill ride. I can't wait to show this to you guys. That was a really, really fun day here at Seven Seas Food Festival at SeaWorld Orlando. It's been a beautiful day and it's turned into a beautiful evening here in Orlando. I would say February is a really nice time to visit because the weather is still mild and crowds are still generally lower than a lot of the other more popular times of the year. Even though there's kind of like no low crowd times of the year anymore, January and February are still generally lower than the rest of the year. Keeping in mind that some rides tend to be down for refurbishment during these times of the year because of the low crowd time. I'd say it's still a good trade-off because of the mild weather. And you have a lot of fun events going on, like here at SeaWorld Orlando, we have the Seven Seas Food Festival going on. At Walt Disney World, at Epcot, the Festival of the Arts is going on. At Universal Orlando, there's Mardi Gras Festival going on with parades every night, concerts every weekend. There's a lot going on and it's 
it's good times. Overall, I'd say the Seven Seas Food Festival is a very good value for the money, especially if you buy a sampler lanyard and a especially if you're a pass holder. The food's good, the park's beautiful, there are so many fun rides here that we have yet to explore that I've ridden but I haven't shared with you guys yet. But don't worry, we'll remedy that soon. So that's it, we're gonna wrap today up, we're gonna head out of here. If you're new to the Super Enthused channel, please subscribe, we go on several awesome adventures every week. We're covering all the new fun stuff that's going on in Orlando, in Florida, and traveling to beautiful international travel destinations. If you missed my recent UK travel vlogs, they're in a playlist on the channel. So thank you guys again so much for watching. Thank you for joining me, commenting, and having a lovely time with me and my friends. I'll see you guys next time, and until then, as always, stay in